Hey guys, Bruce Waringen here with Advanced Wildlife Solutions and Forest Wildlife. We're out on the farm today putting out some mineral sites. It's almost March 1st. We normally get ours out a little bit earlier, but we've been running a little bit behind with feed season and, and been kind of busy. But we like to find these clay-based type of sites. Um, our farm is diverse. We have sandy sites and clay-based, but I like the bag mineral and the block mineral on my place, the antlerotic block and the antlerotic bag. I typically use the antlerotic granular, the bag mineral, in, spot, in spots that are more clay based and hold moisture and I'll put the block out on spots like on top of the ground where it's a little more sandy. So I'm going to make this hole about this big, probably about that deep and I know that seems a little basic or vague but it really doesn't matter. We have guys that make big giant ones that are, that are thin and some that make little small ones that are deep but I like to do mine about like I described so we're going to get after and show you. All right guys, we've left a little bit of loose clay in the bottom of this hole here. And I'm not sure if you can see exactly how deep it is, but it's, it's about this wide and about that deep. And like I said, there's no exact uh, plan here for the size of it. All different types of uh, sizes of the holes all work. Um, this is about what we do. Then I take the bag mineral. I always kind of spread it around, get a little bit on the edges here. I put about half the bag. And I kind of just stir that in. Well guys, we've basically completed this vitamin and mineral site here. You can see it's depressed, well water might stand in it and got a good clay base site here. Um, sometimes we make them a little bit bigger. Sometimes we might make them smaller, just right here. Just honestly got tired of digging. So this is what I'm gonna do for this mineral site in this location. We have several scattered around the property. So, um, you know, we keep it poured to them. We get asked all the time, when do you refresh these sites? It's just a common sense thing. I mean, if you come by it and they have smashed it and they've dug it all up and there's a big giant hole and, and you think it's gone, refresh it. If your deer are in bad shape, they probably are gonna kill it for a little while until you get their vitamins and minerals built back up in their skeletal system and then they'll slow down and you might only do it twice a year. You definitely do it in the spring. We still suggest guys do it in the winter even though they're not gonna eat much of it. But if you're putting it in clay, it's not going anywhere and you can get that animal knowing that that spot is always there so he can know he can replace vitamins and minerals in the skeletal system that have been replaced or released rather to go toward antler growth. So when you're putting out vitamin and mineral like this in spots like this and you see consumption going down, a lot of times that can be because you're feeding a good pellet that has a really good vitamin and mineral content. So when you start doing that, there's a good chance that they'll start eating less of this. And that's a good thing. You know, if they, if they, if they don't need it, they won't eat it. You know, deer will tell you what they need when you're using good quality products like that. Typically, on a spot like this, I'll top dress it with something just to kind of go ahead and kickstart it. I'm going to use 4S straw here. Um, corn's fine. Anything just to put on the to put on the top here, just to kind of go ahead and give them something. Um, the antlerotic mineral does have a a flavoring in it that they like, and you can smell it from a long ways away. But I typically go ahead and do something like this just to kind of get them going. It doesn't take much of it. I mean, I'm putting about a pound there, just to go ahead and let them find it quick and get going. Corn scattered around, anything like that, be fine to do. Y'all check out forestwildlife.com for more details.